Um, good day guys, Galino here. So welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, uh, we will configure the DHCP server of our Windows Server 2008 R2. Okay. Um, ang goal po natin dito is makapag-distribute ng IP ang ating server sa ating client so that um, may join natin yung ating client sa ating domain. Well, actually, we can assign IP address uh, for our client para ma-join natin sa ating domain but ang goal po natin dito is para yung DHCP server natin ay um, gumana at makapag-distribute ng IP sa ating client. Okay? So, let's start. So, on your server, um, go to the server manager, and then go to roles, and then click add roles. Then click server roles, and look for DHCP server, and click the checkbox. So, dapat po may check yun. Then click next. So you will find here the introduction to DHCP server. So the dynamic host configuration protocol allows servers to assign or list IP addresses to computers and other devices that are enabled as DHCP clients. Okay. So click next. And then you'll find here the IP address of your server. So yun nga pong inassign natin is 192.168.0.2. Then click next. And then on the parent domain, you find there the domain name na inassign po ninyo. So ibig sabihin po, kung uh, ating parent domain is blank, wala pong nakalagay doon na domain name, ibig sabihin po niyan, hindi nyo po po na-install yung ating Active Directory Domain Services. Okay? So since meron na po dito, dahil na nagawa naman natin po yun sa ating previous video about uh, installing Active Directory Domain Services, now, proceed with the preferred DNS server IPv4 address. Nag-assign po tayo dito ng 192.168.0.2 So, enter po ulit natin yun. 192.168.0.2 Then, click validate. So, dapat po validate. Alright. Now, with any case, nag-return po ng error at inulit po ninyo, if still error is there, you can proceed po. And then after that, Remove the DHCP server and add it again. Okay? So click next after na ma-validate. Then for the Win server settings, since this is 2008 R2, so it's not required na po. Okay? Just click next. And then for the add or edit DHCP scopes, dito po tayo mag-iingat guys. Medyo complicated po ito. Kasi once na nagkamali kayo ng input ng, uh, ng range, ng IP address, so, hindi po yun magiging valid. Okay? Hindi po siya makakapagbigay na IP address sa inyong client. And remember that, yung ating pong client dapat po naka-obtain ang IP address. Okay. So, click add. And then, scope name. I'll just type scope 1. Bilang my first scope. Then, ito po yung starting IP address and ending IP address. Ito po yung range ng inyong IP address na pagkukuha na ng DHCP. So for example, if you start from 192.168.0. Um, let's say 100 to 192.168.0.150. So from 100 to 150, yun po yung pwedeng i-assign ni DHCP. Okay? So I'll try 192.168.0.100. Then ending IP address 192.168.0.150. Okay. So now what if kayo naman ay mag-a-assign ng IP address manually? Hindi kayo mag-realize sa ating DHCP. So make sure po na yung i-assign ninyo na IP address is not included dun sa range ng ating DHCP para maiwasan po yung conflict in IP. Okay, then click okay. Then, click Next. Okay, so for now, let's disable the uh, version 6. Ito natin gagamitin. So, version 4 po muna tayo. Then, click Next. So, use the current credentials. So, current credentials po ng ating server is, ang username is administrator. So, ito na po yung gamitin natin. So, click Next. 
And then, dito po sa last part na kita ninyo ano po ba yung ating uh, DNS address na inassign, ano yung ating scope. Okay? And then, click install. Okay. So now, installation succeeded. So, click close. Okay? And now, so, maring may mag-pop up po sa right side ng um, inyong screen, yung about sa network, so yung blue. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po nun, uh, indicator po yon na naka-receive po siya ng IP address na kayo ay part of that network. Okay? Kung hindi naman po, you can um, go to your command prompt, cmd, enter, and then type ipconfig to check kung may IP address kayo. Okay. So, since ang range natin is 192.168.0.100 to 150, nabigyan po tayo ng IP na dot .100 since that is the first IP sa range natin. Okay. So, kung may mag-join po ng panibago, then yung sunod po na available na IP address sa range ang mapapabigay. Okay. So, ito po, dot .100. So, gumana yung ating DH. CP. So, ano po yung sunod na gagawin natin? This is to join the client sa domain. So, once na nakareceive na po siya ng IP from the server, i-join na po natin yung client sa domain. Okay? So, I'll just close this. Now, okay, so now, to join the uh, client sa domain, so right-click start, then go to system. Okay? Then, on the right side, you'll find here, rename this PC. Yung para po pag mag -re rename kayo ng computer name, doon po sa part na yon. Okay, so makikita nyo itong computer description, um, the full computer name, the work group. So, click change. Okay, so yung computer name, huwag nyo pong igagaya yan sa DC1, okay? Yung DC1 po pang server yun. So, yung computer name, you can uh, set is, for example, Computer number one, PC number one, workstation number one, client PC one, something like that. So, dito po sa akin nakalagay is client, yung computer name. And then, now, ikiklik ko po yung sa domain. And itatype ko po dito yung mctechtap.com, okay, yung ating domain name. So, jojoy na po natin itong client na ito sa mctechtap.com. Then, click OK. And then, it will ask for username and password. Since, nag-join po tayo sa server natin, yung po username and password ng ating server, which is administrator. And then, the password. Kung ano po yung sinet natin na password or sinet yung na password. Then, click OK. Then, welcome to the mctechtalk.com.domain. So, part na po yung ating um, client dito sa ating domain na mctechtalk.com. So, after this, mag restart po tayo. And then, pwede na po natin gamitin yung user account na kinireate natin sa ating server. Okay? So, I'll restart now. Then, after this, once na restart ilalag na po natin yung uh, ating uh, user account. Yung kinireate natin na user account. Okay, so now, um, ilalagay na po natin yung user account na kinerate natin. Actually, um, dalawa yung account na kinerate natin for the accounting OU as far as I remember. Okay, so click other user. May makikita pa yung other user. So then the uh, logo name or the username. So for Tracy Mac, I think I uh, set TMAC for the logo name and then for the password. So yun, Tracy Mac, that's yun, welcome. And then yung uh, message ni, uh, ni Windows 10, parang after the installation. Okay, so now na nakalagay na po tayo, so paano po natin macha-check kung sino yung nakalagay dito sa ating client? Okay, pwede nyo pong i-click yung start, and then click these three lines, or just roll over your mouse here. Then, you will find the user. So, nakita po nyo dito, Tracy Mac. So, yun po yung ating domain user. 
Okay. So, hanggat hindi po naka-join ng ating client sa domain, we will not be able to use the user accounts na kinreate natin doon sa Active Directory users and computers sa ating server. Okay? So now, if you would like to um, remove this or disconnect the computer sa ating domain, same thing din lang po. Doon din po kayo pupunta kung saan kayo nag-assign nung sa domain. And then, select work group, type work group, babalik na po siya sa work group. So doon din lang po. So dito. So right click the uh, start button, system. Go to uh, rename this PC advance. Okay, but it will ask for username and password. So username and password po ni server. Then click change. And then dito po, so work group. I-click nyo lang po yung work group, type work group, babalik na po siya sa work group. So, mawawala na po yung ating computer sa domain. Okay? So, yun po. But hindi ko po ito i-remove kasi meron po tayong mga gagawin after this. Okay. So, yun guys. Recap lang natin. So, nag-install tayo ng DHCP server sa ating uh, domain controller sa ating server. And then after that, nung nag-succeed na yung installation, so nabigyan na ng IP address yung ating client. So, chinect natin sa command prompt kung ano yung IP na napabigay. And nakabase po yun dun sa range ng ating scope. Then, join natin yung client sa domain. Okay? Then, nailag in na natin ngayon yung um, isang user. Okay. So, let's try nga pala yung isa pang user. So, just uh, right-click the start button. Then this one, click sign up. And then, other user. So I think it's Roger. And the password. So it's Roger Pen. So yun po ulit, every time na may new user kayo na ilalagin, so babalik po ulit siya sa message na after, parang message na uh, after the installation of ones. So, let's wait for a while. A few moments later. Okay, so now, nailagin na natin yung isang user. Uh, as you can see, same computer po yung ginamit natin. So, as long as naka-join po yung computer natin sa domain, so we can use any... Um, any uh, user accounts na nakreate po natin sa ating Active Directory. Okay, so click po natin yung start and then dito po, rollover lang po natin. Yun po. Makikita nyo po yung user. Yung padalawang user na kinerate natin. Okay? So guys, um, for the next video, it's about installing file services, print and document services, and uh, remote desktop services for the file services kaya po natin to install because of the uh, yung sa ating network shared drive and then for the print and document uh, services mag install po tayo ng printer and i-deploy po natin yung para sa ating mga users and for the remote desktop as well okay or remote desktop connection okay so guys thank you so much for watching my video um see you on my next video goodbye Thank you.